Hi, this is Alexis from Akenza. In this video, we're going to look at the dashboard builder of the Akenza platform. So let's get started. When I have a few devices connected to my workspace and I'm receiving uh, data from my sensors, I can start visualizing this data on the dashboard builder of Akenza. To do so, I need to go on the left side here and select dashboard builder. As you can see, we have a certain number of templates that you can duplicate and then edit for your own use. But what we're interested in today is creating a new dashboard. So for this, I click on create a dashboard. And today I'm going to create a monitoring dashboard for our office. So I'm going to give it a name. I can give it a description or an icon, but for now I'm going to click on next. And here I need to define the scope of my dashboard, uh, meaning I need to assign a workspace uh, to this dashboard. And this dashboard will be able to display the data uh, from the devices present in this workspace. I click on Next. Here I'm leaving the default settings, but remember you can always change those afterwards. I can, for example, create a public link uh, for this dashboard and share it to the different stakeholders of the project. Let's go ahead and create the dashboard. And as you can see, I have my empty office dashboard. So now we can start adding components to the dashboard. And what I will do is add a KPI component and display the temperature uh, of a device that I have in the office. So let's start by giving it a name. I can give it an icon as well. I'll change the label. And the next thing I need to do is to choose the data source um, for that KPI component. For that, I go under Source. If you don't have uh, data input sources, it's OK. You can use mock data to first organize your dashboard. And later, you can choose the data from your sensors that you want to display. So let's go ahead and choose a device. In this case, I have an LCS um, RSI in the office. And I'm going to choose the temperature measurement from that device. And as you can see, the data visualization has already been updated. So now I just need to click on Add Component. And the KPI uh, block is added to my dashboard. Now a good idea would be to add the humidity measurement from that device. So for that, I can simply duplicate that KPI component. And now I need to edit um, the copy. Don't forget to edit the data input source. And there you go, I have my humidity reading, I apply the changes, and I have my second KPI component. Now obviously there are other components you can use, and one example is to use a chart. And we're going to use this chart to display the light measurement in the office. At the moment, I have one data series, but I could add um, several more. Um, let's pick the same device. I can change the color if I want. There you go. And add uh, additional data series. Um, but here for now, I'm going to stop here and add this component. As you can see, this component is a little bit bigger than my uh, KPI component, so I can decide to resize it up. Now the next step could be, for example, to add a map component to display the location of the device. So I click on Add Component Map. I will center the location in uh, Zurich. And we're going to pick our device under uh, Source. I will need to give it a name. Can change the icon if I want to. Now I can decide to display the dynamic location of that sensor, if it's some kind of uh, tracker device, or the static location, which is what I'm going to do now. 
To display the static location, I need to use a custom field and assign the GPS location to that device. So I did that previously, and now I can simply choose the custom field of, of that device that I name location. And as you can see, when the location is found, the icon of that device will directly pop up in the map view. The next step would be to add marker data points that will correspond to the different measurements of that device. And I will show you how it looks like now. So I will add a data point and we're going to select the temperature. I will add another data point and we will select the humidity and a third one and we're choosing the light. I add the component and now I have my map view and if I mouse over the icon, you will see that the temperature measurements are displayed in real time. So that's pretty handy if you have different devices, you can place them on a map and just mouse over to see the different measurements of those devices. Okay, so now it's time to organize our dashboard and we can resize the element and add some, some text labels as well. Um, I will do it now. All right, so now I have a nice looking dashboard, so I will save. So that's how the first version of my dashboard looks like. I can, of course, add other components, add more devices. I can display the data over a long period of time, say 24 hours. Um, as you can see, the, the, the data is updated here. Obviously, I can always zoom in here um, in the map overview. And if I want to display the dashboard in uh, full screen, it's also possible. I just need to click here and it will open a new tab um, with a full screen view of the dashboard. And there you go. That's how easy it is to create a dashboard with the Akenza platform to display the data from your different sensors. That's all for today. See you in the next video. Bye bye.